Quiet guy in the loud pants is an unlikely hero from an unlikely place. Being from Manitoba, it certainly is, to me, a, a huge accomplishment that a guy with a six-month golf season can be the best player in Canada. He has a swing for the ages. Today at 56, it's smooth, confident, and grooved. After nearly 40 years and a dozen victories as a pro, a long way from what fellow Brandon native Kent Gilchrist remembers the first time he saw Hollerson. He literally left the ground when he hit his drive. Man, could he hit the golf ball. It was, it was stunning to watch him. He was, uh, he was the John Daly of, of uh, the 70s. You know, I obviously wanted to hit it a long way, so it made the courses a little bit easier. But I felt I had to play a consistent game to play with the best players in the world, and that's why I tried to rebuild my game to more of an accuracy game. One of his strongest uh, suits was driving the ball. He always played this little kind of power fade all the time, and uh, just uh, would dissect a golf course that way. Swinging from the heels, he turned pro at 20, made the PGA Tour at 22, before realizing he needed more time and experience on the Canadian Tour. And until I started winning in Canada, it, it was not possible for me to go back there. It wasn't, it wasn't the best idea. Um, once you start winning, I started winning in Canada, you got more confidence in your game and your ability, and, um, and then it was, it was time to go to the next level. He returned to stay in the U.S. in 1979. He became one of a handful of Canadians to win twice on the PGA Tour. Dan represented his country well, he played well, uh, he was always always in the hunt, and that's, uh, that's what it's all about. He became the first Canadian to win two World Cups, partnering with Jim Nelford and Dave Barr. Yeah, the winning the tour, tour events are, are fine, but the old World Cup was, a, was an honour. You know, we got a lot of history in, in there, and uh, those, those are memories you're always going to have. He's become one of the elder statesmen of Canadian golf, as president of the Tournament Players Division and deputy commissioner of the Canadian Tour. He wants to give back to golf what he got out of it. Oh, he's been one of Canada's uh, finest players. I think he played on the tour for 20 years and, and always came back and supported the Canadian Tour, which is just great for young players to have our stars oh, yeah. come back. Uh, it's been uh, very interesting yeah. the last three years, and uh, we've you know, made pretty good strides, and our, our players are getting better and better. He's still giving back uh, to the game in this country as, as Deputy Commissioner of the Canadian Tour. He's been a marvelous asset to the game in this country.